What's up, Brunswick County? This month on Brunswick Biz, we begin here in Charlotte at Ozio Media, a unique store filled with books, music, and so much more. And then we'll head over to Garris Evans Lumber Company to check out their remodeled showroom. And then we'll head to the state line to check out Mocha Cafe, a new coffee shop that's opened up on Hickman Road. So stay with us. This is Brunswick Biz, connecting Brunswick County one business at a time. Whether you're looking for a unique gift, want to take a trip back in time, or just looking for a good book to read, Ozio Media in Shalode is your destination. We spoke with owner Dave Henderson to find out more. Dave, what a treat for us to come by and check out Ozio Media. How long have you had your shop here? Uh, 15 years. We started in 2003. Okay, and like, what prompted you to open up a vintage book, vintage media music store in Shalode of all places? <laughs> well, my family's from here. Um, I'm from LA. That's uh, Lower Ash, <laughs> and uh, uh, I always loved enjoying reading and digging into a good book. Uh, growing up in the church, I always really enjoyed music. And as a young boy, I grew up in a really old house, and uh, we found old books in a dry well, 17th, 18th century. Uh, my brother and I were chasing each other up upstairs one time and uh, the door handle went into the plaster. It was filled with Confederate money, wow. <laughs> which is kind of cool. So <laughs> by that, I was hooked. And I've always enjoyed old things. And uh, after working, developing websites for since the 90s, uh, I thought it would be a good item to uh, sell online. Okay, because you got in there right at the, the start of the e-commerce boom. More or less. Okay, can you have your shop here in Shalot, but you do a lot of e-commerce as well? Correct, yes. Okay. We have our own website. Uh, we do sell some stuff on eBay. Um, and we do buy and sell uh, items here locally. Mm -hmm. yeah, you are a really a hidden gem here in Shalot. Thank I'm sure you. There are a lot of people that have not heard of y'all and that you're here. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about what you carry in your shop. Uh, we have your general reading, like classic lit and uh, other types of books. Uh, um, we also have rare books or fancy uh, leather-bound books if you just want to have a book that makes you look smart sitting on the shelf. Right. <laughs> um, we also have classic rock and roll records, some jazz, some pop, uh, Motown, uh, country. Uh, we do have a smattering of CDs and we do antiques. A uh, little more to the guy side, like uh, I call them antiques, but okay. yeah, all the stuff you can't find in Walmart. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely unique, and you could spend a long time just browsing through the shop if, you know, if it's what you're into. And I know people people love old things that take them back to, you know, a time that they remember or a time that they have never experienced. Because you have stuff yes. that goes way back. Yes, yes. And even some uh, young people are getting into uh, analog or retro uh, items. Uh, I had some kids come in the other day looking at the records and asked me what the big black CDs were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if you grew up with a download on your phone and you see the little picture, thumbnail of the album, it's really cool to come out here and look at the actual full album with the liner notes and the sleeves and it's right. just a better uh, recording of the music. A CD is, or an MP3 is compact because they took information away. Yeah, and albums, record albums, vinyls, it's made a comeback. Definitely. And they made great gifts too. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And they make great wall art. People just put them up mm -hmm. on the wall and can enjoy the art. Absolutely. And what are some of the most interesting items you've ever had at Ozio Media? Uh, we had a set of uh, biographies of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. And it was signed by one of the sons of the signers. Oh, wow. So that was kind of interesting. Um, right now we have a Mark Twain book uh, that's signed with his pen name as well as his uh, real name, uh, oh. which is pretty rare. Um, I have a Bible in the back that's older than this country. Wow. <laughs> and y'all sell vintage items, but you also buy too. Correct. Uh, you, you're always looking for different things. What sort of things catch your eye when you're picking inventory? Uh, especially like leather bound books, uh, books that are say 50 plus years old, um, in nice shape, uh, classic rock and roll records. Um, Antiques or collectibles that have been used, like something not something you buy in a store, a manufactured collectible, but something that you can, it was really used hands on. Absolutely. And 
I want to ask you about some of the things we have around us. We're here <laughs> in the middle of, of the store. You've got several different rooms that people can go in. Mm -hmm. This is the, the main area, right? When you come in, mm -hmm. um, and then there's a little book corner off to our, our the front of where we are, and then also you have your where your antiques are, right? Correct. Right? And, and some it, comics. And some comics in the back. So, what's this right here? This uh, this record is player. a phonograph. Aha. Uh -huh. Hand crank, pretty amazing invention for its time. Uh, give it a little wind. Get it up to speed. And this is the miracle of recorded sound. Uh, now what if I wanted it to be louder? Rocking. Oh, okay. Not rocking. There's your rocking, rocking. control. Amazing Very invention. Cool. Absolutely. Carolina Moon. Ah. Now, right behind me, I'm going to move out of the way. This is an interesting piece. You can't quite see it, but if folks come into the shop, I'm sure you can show yeah, it off. It's the precursor to a record. This is called a wax cylinder, invented by Edison, right there. Uh -huh. This is three minutes of music. This was the first time you could ever hear recorded music okay. at command without knowing some instruments, knowing some people with instruments, getting in the same room at the same time. It's a wax cylinder single. Correct, and this is the also hand cranked. Wow, very cool, Dave. Is there anything that makes y'all unique? And you know, you're here in, in Brunswick County, and it's a it's a destination. Um, mm -hmm. Like, what really sets you apart from say shops in uh, Wilmington or Myrtle Beach that might have similar items to yours? I'm sure there's lots of great shops in Wilmington and Myrtle yeah. Beach. Uh, this uh, place is a little less picked over because we don't have as many people here. It's more of a destination, so you you can come here every time and find something new. Uh, we do curate our items uh, pretty carefully and try not to, we all, all wheat, no chaff, if we yeah. can. How often does your inventory turn over? A weekly basis. Okay, so come on by you know, every week and you might see something new. Correct. And I'm sure it would take somebody a while to go through everything that you have. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very interesting. But if you just feel like uh, picking up a book for the beach or something like that, a rainy day, we sell all the books out here for uh, $3 each or buy two, get one free, okay. three for six, hardcover or soft. Yeah, if anybody has anything in their house, let's say they're cleaning out their closet mm -hmm. or they're going through their, you know, their mother's house or something, you know, looking for, for things that are of value um, and they're looking to get rid of them, mm -hmm. do you, you buy things? We do. Um, we don't buy everything. We try to save as much as we can, but we can't save it all. Uh, whenever people are cleaning out a barn or a basement or a house, and they bring the books down. Uh, they usually drop them off and give us time to go through with them. Um, and then whatever we can't use, we can return to them or we can donate it directly to Habitat for Humanity. Okay. All right, Dave, thanks so much for letting us stop yeah. by and check out Ozzy Media. Uh, if folks want to get in touch with you or and stop by, uh, where are you located and uh, your website and all that kind of thing? We're on Smith Avenue uh, in downtown Shalote, right by the post office, across the street from the Brunswick Beacon. Oh. Uh, we are, our website is ozziomedia.com. That's A Z I O. M E D I A dot com. All right, and of course, all of your inventory is available on there too. Not, not all, all of it. it. Not all Look, of it. Some of it. Some of the some more rare stuff. Okay. A lot of the stuff out here is not online. So okay, it's so too, kind of two experiences. You have to come by. You have to come hey, by. Yeah. But we can also look at things online. We do okay. take pictures of some of the more unusual items we have and post them on Facebook. If you're really into it, we post more on Instagram. Okay, so follow you on Instagram, like you on yeah. Facebook, and be sure to come by on Smith Avenue here in Charlotte and check you out. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Dave. You. At ATMC, it's all about you. So when you build your own bundle at ATMC.com, you get exactly the services you want. Like blazing fast internet with speeds up to one gigabit per second, more than 200 channels of digital cable, unlimited nationwide calling, plus the safest home on the block. At ATMC, you get faster speeds, more choices, and bigger savings, because it's all about you. Build your bundle today with ATMC. ATMC Security is changing the way you connect with your home, making it safer, smarter, and more efficient. Now you can manage your home wherever you are with a single app. Lights, locks, thermostats, 24-hour security monitoring, and more, which means you always come back to a safe, comfortable home. Monitoring services start as low as $17.95 per month. Make your home a smart home with ATMC Security. 
This is ATMC TV, your community channel. Garris Evans Lumber Company has been providing building materials for contractors and consumers in Eastern North Carolina for nearly a century, but they've only been in Brunswick County for a few years. We spoke to General Manager Ken Green here at their Shalote location off of Highway 130 to find out more. Ken, thanks so much for giving us the chance to stop by here at Garris Evans and uh, check out your newly remodeled Shalote location. It's our pleasure to have you. Yeah, so Garris Evans, y'all have been in Eastern North Carolina for nearly how long? Uh, next year will be our centennial. So uh, nearly we, a we were founded in 1919 in Greenville, North Carolina. Okay, and how many locations do you have? Overall? We have uh, currently have five locations: uh, Greenville, Wilson, Newburn, Jacksonville, and Shalote. And how long have you been um, here in Brunswick County? Uh, we've been here a little over six years. Uh, we entered the market in fall of 2012. Okay, and what prompted you all to move to Shalote? Well, the Evans family, we're, we're, we're owned by fourth generation uh, Evans. Um, they still own and operate the business. Uh, they recognized a great opportunity in 2012 when a long time building material dealer uh, decided to exit the industry. Um, so the Evans family invested in a, a piece of property out off of uh, 211 uh, and leased the property. And then one year later, they bought the current property and uh, began doing business, and they also own the property. Okay, and uh, this location, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here in this location for five years. Okay, and you've recently done some uh, renovations to it. Right. Tell me about your new showroom and what you have to offer. Uh, the showroom and sales and operations center is a 3,700 square foot facility that we opened in November of 2017. Um, we needed a more constructive sales area and operations area uh, to meet the demand. Uh, we've also added a 6,700 square foot engineered wood center uh, or structure for storage and um, handling of engineered wood and our framing type products. And you primarily work with the home builders, uh, we, I understand. Almost all of our business is residential home builder uh, mm -hmm. and industry professionals. But we, especially since we've uh, started our new sales and operations center, we're getting a lot of foot traffic from the public. So we welcome mm -hmm. that kind of business also. Yeah, because as everybody knows, I mean, Brunswick County is the fastest growing county in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So sure is. there's a lot of lumber being moved and right. uh, all kinds of materials. What else do you offer besides lumber? Uh, well, we sell uh, uh, concrete block. Uh, we sell, we can sell brick. Uh, treated lumber, framing lumber, pilings for beach homes, uh, sidings, windows and doors, including Anderson is our uh, leading brand of windows. Uh, we have uh, synthetic decking, synthetic railing, uh, drywall, uh, builder hardware, uh, interior trim, interior doors, from soup to nuts. I mean, we, 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 do, we can cater to anything uh, that you need. So it's a wide range of, of things that you offer. Absolutely. Yeah, how do you compete with, say, the big box stores? What makes Garris <clears throat> Evans different? Well, we're, we don't, you know, you're not gonna come to Garris Evans and buy a ceiling fan or a can of paint. Right. Uh, we are dialed in on the residential home builder business. So that's really not the kind of business, even though we do compete with them in a small way, uh, it's very rare that a residential home builder will use a big box type facility for their supply chain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what else sets you apart from other, say, your competitors? Well, we realize that uh, what time wasted on the job is a our customer's worst nightmare. Uh, so we strive to provide a premium service, uh, get things to the job on on time, do what we say we're going to do, that kind of thing. How about delivery? I know you said that you are a supply chain company. Right. We uh, we're in the building material sales business for sure, but our main focus is distribution. Right. Uh, we are a we, we we focus on that. Uh, we probably ninety six to ninety seven percent of our business is delivered uh, in the uh, surrounding area, and um, a lot of times 
even to the general public, we can offer delivery because they may live in a place that works very nicely into our distribution anyway. So I think that distinguishes for sure. Delivery is just, uh, it's like, almost like a second thought because we do it from 6.30 to 4.30 every single day. Mm -hmm. And of course, being centrally located here in Brunswick County, you do serve all of Brunswick County. Oh yeah, we serve Brunswick County, Columbus County, Bladen County, uh, Marion, Dillon, and Horry Counties in South Carolina, obviously New Hanover. Uh, Leland's a, a, a booming area oh, that we all we all try to take advantage of, <laughs> as, as well as Salt, uh, St. James and Southport in those areas. Right. Okay, and also uh, behind this uh, Builder Toolkit app, tell me about that. Uh, that's, it's just an app that we've recently developed for our, uh, uh, mainly our professional builders. They uh, have access to board footage, how to measure this, how to measure that, that kind of thing, how to calculate siding and that kind of okay, thing. Okay, so that comes in handy for sure. Absolutely. How can somebody get in touch with you if they want to find out more information about Garris Evans? Uh, they can uh, call us at 910-754-3999 or they can access us on the web, www.garrisevans.com. Um, that would be the probably the most proficient way to get a hold of us. All right, Ken, thanks so much for letting us stop by and uh, check out Garris Evans Lumber. All right, thank you. It begins with a click. And no matter where you are, you have countless choices at your fingertips. On the road, on your break, even in your own backyard. A world of entertainment is just a click away. Simply go to atmc.com slash atmc to go to get started. Because at ATMC, it's all about you. It began as an idea, an idea that sparked a dream, a dream that you turned into reality. Now, you need a business partner that not only shares your dream, they make it better. That's why smart business owners choose ATMC Business Solutions. ATMC offers flexible and customizable IT solutions, including managed networks, managed firewalls, and data backup. Whether you want us to be your complete IT team or just supplement your existing staff, we can help. Call us today. Here at Indigo Farms on Hickman Road in Calabash, Mocha Cafe is serving up fresh coffee and great, delicious home-cooked family meals. I spoke with owners Courtney Decker and Kalena Owens to find out more about their new shop. Courtney and Kalena, thanks so much for letting us stop by and check out Mocha Cafe. You're welcome. <laughs> so y'all have opened this up uh, fairly recently. It's been this year that y'all opened up in yeah. 2018. Uh, tell me why you started to do a coffee shop here in Calabash. Well, my mom comes in or was coming into the produce market daily and she noticed that the cafe wasn't, um, hadn't been open for a couple of years. And Kalina has worked in a coffee shop, her mom's coffee shop actually, for like the past five years or a, a little time. bit longer. <laughs> and um, her mom does a, uh, what is your mom? She, she's a director. It's actually a nonprofit faith-based organization, but it's a coffee house in downtown Myrtle Beach. And she started there just being a barista and then ended up becoming the director or one of the directors. Her and a guy named Kevin run it and she does everything there. She's done it for like 12 years. And so I started working there as soon as I was allowed to. So I got up with her because I love coffee and I love to drink it and she knew how to make it. And my mom bakes really, really well. She's been doing it her whole life. So, and I've, I've worked in the service industry for 15 years. So I kind of always wanted my own place. I knew Plana did too. So we decided to, uh, my mom talked to the owners of the farm and uh, we talked to them, and then we just decided to give it a shot and open up our own place. Yeah, y'all are, are related. I <laughs> should mention that. Yeah. Just tell me how y'all know each other. <laughs> She's uh, married to my brother. She's my sister-in-law. Okay, so, so it's, yeah. a, it's a family affair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Said, my mom does the baking and cooking. Your mom does cooking. all the baking mm -hmm. and cooking and everything. Yeah. Okay, and it's, it's Mocha Cafe, but you have a lot more than just coffee. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about what you offer on your menu. Uh, so we have a daily special, changes every day, and it's always some kind of southern comfort food that we do. 
We do soup, sandwiches, that kind of thing. Um, when we first started, we were just doing a lot of the baked goods. We have uh, cinnamon rolls, uh, muffins. We do all kinds of scones. It changes all the time because we're always getting local produce. So it's never really the same thing just because it depends on what's in season, season and stuff. Yeah, and as you said, you have local produce, a lot of uh, farm to table stuff. A lot of organic uh, stuff. Yeah, because I know you mentioned uh, the farm. You're right. here at Indigo Farms, is where you're located. Um, right here ne next door. You can yeah. walk to Indigo Farms we and do. in between All the two and everything. <laughs> they, Tomatoes in the middle of the day. <laughs> they clean. And tell me about uh, what makes your food unique. Um, well, a lot of love is put into it. Mr. Renee's been baking for a very long time. And in the beginning, like she said, we were just doing the baked goods and the coffee. And then she used to cook dinner for the whole entire family every single night. She has 17 grandkids, like would cook enough for an army. And once she started working in our kitchen, um, we didn't have dinner anymore. So that's why we started doing the lunch specials and everything because it's family she and could, our family she eats here. My no, she couldn't stop. She cooks mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. So. And like, she won't, she doesn't want to ever take a break or anything. She'll just be yeah. in here cooking all day and night. <laughs> like, Nonstop. Oh yeah, a lot of love's put into it though. And a pinch of this and a pinch of that, there's no like recipes ever. So it's a lot of, um, it's just a family-run restaurant, so. Yeah, how awesome it is for her to share that with oh, our, yeah. the community here in, in Brunswick County in, in the Calabash area. It is. Yeah. Um, tell me, uh, what else uh, do you offer that may, you know, may not find in other places around here? Um, I know vegan, I heard something about they have a lot of vegan options. We try to have vegan options like every day. We she makes vegan cinnamon rolls and we have vegan brownies mm -hmm. and she just tries out different Our things with vegan. Is vegan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she'll try out different things. Her husband uh, found out he's allergic to dairy, which is why she started making okay. the vegan cinnamon rolls and yeah. stuff. And then we had other vegans come in here, uh -huh. and so she's gluten free. We have a lot of gluten free yeah. stuff. Okay. She tries to make just different things you yeah. try it out. and it's awesome for folks around here that may have you know some kind of uh, medical conditions where they can't have mm -hmm. everything you you have an option for them yeah. and that's, that's yeah, really great yeah we have great. a lot of healthy options yeah. we do homemade soups all the time yeah. and stuff like that so yeah and of course the food it sounds fantastic but mm -hmm. i do want to talk about the coffee too because that's yeah. you know yeah. the star of the show <laughs> yeah i mean mocha cafe yeah yeah courtney tell me about the coffee um, so when we were starting to talk about opening and everything and trying to figure everything out, um, I realized it hit me that I went to high school with Sarah Moy. Um, so Sarah and Sunny, I contacted them in Shalote. Um, they have Jumpin' Java and okay. they also roast their own beans called Roost the Rooster and the Hen. And uh, I just contacted her and started asking her questions. Um, they do organic beans, they roast them locally, and they have, um, it comes into different seasons, right? Like, yeah. So, Right yeah. now, do you know what it is right now? Or? I think we have like something, I think it's like Congo for the dark roast. And like it just each changes where we get season. the or where we get the beans from, it all changes through the season. So it'll be a more earthy, dark coffee in the winter, and in the summer, it's more fruity and light. Yeah. So just, we didn't just want to go with a regular like company that was mass produced coffee beans, we wanted to have like a local farm to table coffee as well. Okay, that's awesome that y'all are keeping it local yeah. and are partnering with a local coffee shop in Shalot. Of mm -hmm. course, many of us know Jump and Java, so yeah. it's pretty cool that you can get their coffee down here too. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, and what's the reception been like from the community? Really good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody we get, loves it. We have a lot of people that come in here like either every day or every other day for our lunch specials. A lot of people, we'll get the same people in on Friday for fried chicken Friday. We'll get the same Ooh. people in on Tuesday and like they all come back because they've realized that it's a place that there's just a lot of love here and there's you people walk in and they can tell uh -huh. it's family and it's friendly and we know everyone by their names. We've gotten to know the community more, which is mm -hmm. our, that was our goal in the first place was to be somewhere that, that all the community would love because there's nothing really out here. So yeah, it's such a warm family atmosphere in, in here. And that leads me to ask you, what went into transforming this space into the warm, cozy place that it is, Courtney? Yeah, so when we um, started looking at you know the furniture and everything, we wanted to reuse as much stuff as possible. So my brother, he redid the tabletops, he did the bar that we have over there. Um, we redid the floors. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby and got a lot of uh, like Southern charm type of pictures and stuff like that. We did the lighting. 
Um, we did a lot. Yeah, it's, a lot certainly of, a, it's certainly a place where you can come cuddle up and yeah. have a warm cup of coffee. It's very uh, hot cup of coffee yeah. here in the winter in the cold winter months or yeah. an iced coffee you know anytime i know a lot of people like to yeah. to get that when it's cold yeah. even and you do offer all sorts of, of coffee drinks yes as well. all of our drinks can be um hot or iced okay all of them all right well thanks so much for letting us stop by and check you all out here at mocha cafe how can folks uh get in touch with you with you know social media website things like that and your location as well yeah, so we're on Facebook and Instagram, and they're both um, Mocha Cafe NC, right? Um, Instagram is Mocha Cafe NC. Facebook is just Mocha Cafe. And your location? It's 1542 Hickman Road. It's in Calabash, North Carolina. And if you look us up on Google, it's on Google as well. All right, and that's Indigo Farms right there on the state line on Hickman Road. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for Thank uh, letting us stop by. It's nice meeting you all. You too. We hope you've enjoyed this month's show. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for us here on Brunswick Biz, give us a call at 755-1770 or visit atmctv.com. I'm Nathan Evers, reminding you to shop local, and we'll see you next month on Brunswick Biz, connecting Brunswick County one business at a time. ATMC is proud to be one of this year's recipients of the NTCA's Smart Rural Community Showcase Award. ATMC has a long history of providing quality service to the people of Brunswick County. In the early 1950s, when large national telephone providers refused to serve rural Brunswick County, a group of local farmers and businessmen collaborated to create our cooperative. We've held true to our cooperative principles and listened to our members to provide more advanced services over the years. With the Smart Rural Community Award, we get to recognize towns across Brunswick County that are able to thrive because of high-speed internet provided by ATMC. When applying for the Smart Rural Community designation, we took a look at all the things we have done over the years to improve the quality of life in Brunswick County. One of our biggest accomplishments was building a fiber optic network to all 19 of Brunswick County's public schools. We know that higher speed internet in the classroom opens the door of opportunity for children to connect to online learning platforms, distance education, smart boards, and more. ATMC is committed to investing in the people of our community, which is why more than 10 years ago, we began awarding education and community grants in our service area. These grants fund small nonprofits and teachers who are committed to building a better future for Brunswick County. ATMC has given back more than $600,000 in community and education grants since 2006. Having this designation as a smart rural community will help ATMC continue to promote economic development in Brunswick County. ATMC has invested millions of dollars to provide fiber optic networks to key business districts throughout the county. Fiber is proven to attract new businesses to the area and sustain current business. In addition, we committed to providing fiber networks to key community partners like our local hospital and physician offices. The addition of fiber in these healthcare facilities provides opportunities for telemedicine, quick access to electronic medical records, advancement in medicines, and more. ATMC also provided a redundant fiber network for the Brunswick County 911 Communication Center so that our first responders will be able to respond to emergency situations as quickly as possible. These are advancements that did not always exist in our rural community but are now possible with our expansive fiber optic network. We have the support of local businesses, our Chamber of Commerce, town officials, and the Brunswick County School System when we applied for this award. And I think that really says something about who we are as a company. In 2016, ATMC promised our customers that we would invest $120 million with our network upgrade and expansion plan to add fiber to more residential neighborhoods and business districts across Brunswick County. We are also in the process of upgrading nearly 4,000 members living in Brunswick County's most rural areas to speeds of up to 500 megabits by the end of 2019. ATMC has been working diligently to improve these areas and expand into growing areas in our county. Receiving this award is proof that we are doing right by our members each and every day. We are proud to be your smart rural community provider. This is ATMC-TV, your community channel.